Ashy. Hi, I'm Lincoln. And we're back with the news. And we're starting with the door decorating contest. There we go. This is Mrs. Brubay's door. Dive into a good book. This is Mrs. Forderer's door. Extra, extra, read all about it. This is Mrs. Koopman's class. And it's the cat in the hat. Three. This is Mrs. Hesterman's class. Fish into a good book. This is, this is Mrs. Smith's door. Dive into a good book. This, this is the library. Happy Easter. This is Mrs. Wendell's classroom. Have an excellent Easter. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Acoin in 1A, um, and we did a door that says, look who's blooming with all our gorgeous faces from the class. And we based this door on the books, You Are Like a Seed and The Tiny Seed. Hi, I'm Mrs. Follett, and our grade one class decorated our door with Read Your Heart Out. They each decorated a heart, and then we wrote their name in it. And then we also put some of our favorite titles along the bottom for books. Here's Mrs. Lynch's team with the social smarts. This week's topic is for asking for permission. Asking for permission means you need to ask before you use something or before you do something. Asking permission before you use or do something helps to make sure everyone is safe at school and we are following our rules and expectations. If we were at school, we need to ask adults for permission. Can I go a basketball? Uh, not right now. When is a good time to come back? Uh, can you come back at recess? Yeah. And I can grab you one? Yeah. Awesome. Sometimes adults tell us no or not right now and we have to accept that. It's just not adults that we need to ask for permission. You need to ask your classmates for permission before you use something that is not yours. Hey, are you done using this? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Birch has a question of the week with Hayden, Casey, and Tavian. This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell, tell us your name. Tashi, our question of the week this week is, if you had a secret passage in your room, where would it go? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Don't know? Take it anywhere. Where would it be anywhere in the world? Philippines, that's a good one. You have family in the Philippines? Yeah. That would be a good one because that's a long, long flight. Like hey, a teleport ticket? Yeah. What's your name? Robert. Robert, if you had a secret passage in your room, where would it go? The bathroom. The bathroom, that's a good one. Right, what is your name? Rachel. Rachel, if you had a secret passage in your room, where would it go? The twins house. The twins house, so you guys are going to spend some time together? Yep. Nice. What is your name? Josephine. Josephine, if you had a secret passage in your room, where would it go? Probably to California. Oh, whereabouts in California? Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland. Yeah, you can't go wrong yeah. there, right? Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Godless. Our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want that secret passage to go? California. California. Anywhere in particular in California? No? Not even like Disneyland, San Diego, no, anywhere in California? Okay. What's your name? Alvin. Alvin. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Hawaii. Ohio? Ohio. Hawaii? Oh, Hawaii is a good one. Have you been there before? Oh, no. No, it's, I've been there a few times. It's nice. What's your name? Callie. Callie. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world that you wanted, where would it go? Disneyland. Disneyland. That's a good one. That's in California. Did you know that, Carlos? Yeah. So you could go to Disneyland too. What's your name? James, James, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Hawaii. Hawaii? That's a good one. Have you been there before? It's a nice place, eh? Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. My name is Mrs. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas, our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would it go? 
like I'd want to go to the chocolate factory. Oh, the chocolate factory, like Willy Wonka's? Yes. Yeah, that would be a good yeah. one. Okay. What's your name? Miss Tistani. Miss Tistani, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world that you wanted it to, where would it go? Greece. Greece, that's a good one. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Layla. What's that? Layla. Layla. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world you wanted, where would it go? Disneyland. Disneyland, that's a good one. What's your name? Kiva. Kiva. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would it go? Disneyland. Disneyland, that's a good one. Not Disney World? Just Disneyland? Yeah. Or either one? I don't know both. That's a good one. All right, what's your name? Margo. Margo, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? England. England, that's a good one. I love England. Do you have family over there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, come on over here. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? The tree house. The tree house? No, the tree house. The tree house. house. The tree house. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good answer. No. High five for me? No. High five for me? I don't no. High five. Oh. <laughs> This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and her question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. My name is Mrs. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas, our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would it go? Mm. I think I'd want to go to the chocolate factory. Oh, the chocolate factory, like Willy Wonka's? Yes. Like, yeah, that would be a good yeah. one. Okay, what's your name? Miss Tistani. Miss Tistani, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world that you wanted it to, where would it go? Greece. Greece, that's a good one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Layla. What's that? Layla. Layla. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world you wanted, where would it go? Disney. Disneyland, that's a good one. What's your name? Kiva. Kiva. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would it go? Disneyland. Disneyland, that's a good one. Not Disney World? Just Disneyland? Yeah. Or either one? I don't know both. That's a good one. All right, what's your name? Margo. Margo, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? England. England, that's a good one. I love England. Do you have family over there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, come on over here. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? The tree house. The tree house? No, the tree house. The tree, tree house. house. The tree house. Yeah, the tree That's house. a good one, buddy. That's a good answer. No. High five for me? No. High five for me? No. I don't want to high five. Oh. Okay. This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Colt. Colt. Our question of the week is... If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Under my bed. Under your bed? That's a good one. And what's your name? Rick Kev. Rick Kev, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Dollhouse. The dollhouse? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I see Mexico. Yeah, Mexico? <laughs> you going to change your answer? What do you say? Mexico? Yeah, I think Mexico. That's a good answer, though. Hey, what's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? China. China, that's Have you been to China before? Yeah, it's been a pretty cool place. I have never been, but I want to go. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi, what's your name? Stephanie. And if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? To where? Unicorn Land. Unicorn Land? That's a good one. I've never been to Unicorn Land. Have you been to Unicorn Land? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Is that a new place? Awesome. Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Julia. Julia? Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want that secret passage to go? In your room? And you just go right back to your room? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Emma. Emma. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want that secret passage to go? To your grandma's house. To your grandma's house. That sounds like a good one. What's your name? Robbie. Robbie, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Skate park. The skate park? 
That's a good one. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline? If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? To my auntie's. To your auntie's house? That's a good one. This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Ruth, uh, Mrs. Hall. Mrs. Hall. Our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? I would want it to go somewhere warm and tropical. Nice, good answer. Like Hawaii? Yeah. This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. I'm Mrs. Lynch. Mrs. Lynch, our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Ooh, it would go to Disneyland. Disneyland, that's a good one. And what's your name? Bryn. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Oh my to your grandparents' house? That's Love a that great answer. answer. And what's your name? Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Um, right now, I think if a uh, passage could lead to Narnia, that would be pretty cool. Oh, Narnia, that's a good one. It's on. Okay, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Haley. Haley, our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? The bamboo forest in China. The bamboo forest in China, that's a great answer. What's your name? Luke. Luke, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? To somewhere where there's a lot of bunnies. A lot of bunnies? Like Easter yeah. bunnies? I like it. What's your name? Davin. Davin. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Portugal. Oh, Portugal. Have you fine. been to Portugal before? Never. That's a great answer. What's your name? Josue. Josue. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Japan. Japan. Have you been there before? No. No. That's a good answer. Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Sawyer. Sawyer. Our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Uh, to the world's biggest house. The world's biggest house, I like it. What's your name? Michaela. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Hawaii. Hawaii. Have you been to Hawaii before? No, it's, I've been there a few times. It's super nice. It's a great action. What's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? To the ocean. To the ocean? I like that answer. What's your name? Shaddix. Shaddix. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? England. England. Have you been to England? No. Do you have family over there? No. No? That would be a good place to go away. Eh? Yeah. Wait. Thanks, guys. Yep. Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. What is your name? It's Jax. It's hey, Jax. Jax. Here's our question of, week. question of the week. If you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? I guess we'll be a little bit of Where would you want to go if you where had a you secret passage in your room? Where would you want to go? Anywhere in the world. Disneyland, baby? Disneyland, baby? Yeah, I like that Disneyland. I bet you you would choose Disneyland. What's your name? Missy. Missy, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Oh, I would choose Hawaii. Hawaii. Have you been to so, Hawaii before? I haven't. I've been a few times. Yeah, to it's on my bucket list for sure. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. Tell us your name. I'm Mrs. Ashcroft. Mrs. Ashcroft, our question of the week is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? A secret passage to a beach. To a beach. Any beach in particular? Just sand, sun, and water. I like it. And what is your name? Mrs. Budfordson. Mrs. Budfordson, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Behind a waterfall. Oh, behind oh. a waterfall is a good answer. 
And what is your name? Mrs. Mrs. Kim. Mrs. Kim. So I asked your husband the same question. If it Ooh. doesn't match, then there's going to be some problems. So our question is, if you had a secret passage in your room that went anywhere in the world, where would you want it to go? Mexico. Mexico is a great answer. I don't Short episode, but bye. Have a nice Easter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye.